Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. If you've ever planned a wedding, especially the wedding of your dreams, you know how stressful it can be and expenses can add up super fast. But here to give us tips on the do's and don'ts of wedding planning, please welcome to the show wedding planner, Brian Keith. Good morning. Hello, Keith. <laughs> What's wrong, with my baby? Yes, Mr. Keith. It's going to be all right. Mr. Brian Because I'm giving you all the do's and don'ts today. <laughs> Help! I'm so stressed. And I'm in the middle of planning my wedding, and um, you've got to get your broom because it's a mess. Yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> and one of your first things you say is don't DIY, do not plan your wedding yourself. Yes, so <sighs> usually, usually when we say DIY, we're saying do it yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm saying don't, don't do it yourself. Don't, oh. because event planners, wedding planners can save you time, can save you stress, oh. can save you money. No. We have deals that you can't get. Ooh. So invest. Mm -hmm. I like to call it an investment. Invest in, 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 a, in a wedding planner. But if you can't afford a wedding planner, consult with one for a few hours just to make sure you're going in the right direction. But stay a bride, stay a groom, and enjoy your day. Yes. <laughs> and one of your dues is advance notice. Yes. Okay, do you give the same amount of time for local and destination weddings? Absolutely. What, what you want to do is you want to give your guests enough time to pay for travel, hotel, car, Whatever it is they have to pay for it so they won't stress you out if it's last minute, mm. thinking that you're going to pay for it because it was last minute. Uh -huh. But not only that, but they have, to <laughs> they have to take off from work, they have to get babysitters, et cetera. So yeah. give your guests enough yeah. time to enjoy your day with you. Well, well, how do you manage schedules when there are so many different factors to consider? Schedules are important. However, I want you to understand that you cannot and will not make anyone and everyone happy. Mm -hmm. So you cannot please everyone, but your immediate family, <sighs> guests, um, your uh, bridal party, they need to know um, what days it is for whatever you're doing so they can plan accordingly with their schedule. But again, you can't please everybody. What makes you happy is what you need to do. Okay, we're gonna get to pleasing people in just a minute. Yes. We're gonna talk about budget. Yes, God. For just a second. Because I love you budget. know, you get this warm and fuzzy feeling. You know, yes. you say, I, you say, okay, will you marry me? Yes, I will. And yes. then you get this wonderful feeling. I'm like, I want this and I want that and I want this and I want the other. And then, mm -hmm. The price tag comes. Absolutely. And you can't afford what you thought you wanted. Uh -huh. So what's the key to managing a budget? Well, first of all, I love when clients tell me, this is my budget, mm -hmm. and when I give you this check, I'm closing my hands, my pockets, my purses, my bank accounts. You're not getting anything else from me. But the unexpected happens sometimes, and sometimes RSVPs come in late. You have to buy another plate, of another chicken dinner, yeah. whatever it may be. Yeah, exactly. um, and sometimes you see things that you want that you didn't realize later. The little detail sometimes adds up. So again, put aside money so you won't be stressed out at the last minute trying to come up with those those coins. Okay, speaking <laughs> of that additional plate yes. and that additional dinner, what do you do when you have family members mm -hmm. or close friends mm -hmm. who want to add other guests to your list? If your guest list is closed, mm -hmm. it is closed. Okay. Which means you don't keep adding because when you add a plate, you add a seat, you add a fork, you add a cup, you add an arrangement. You understand what I'm saying? So I it understand. adds up. So you have to learn the word no. It's look. Okay. I, I, I wore this for you today. Oh. No. Okay, let's talk about okay. text for a there second. There you go. Now let's say all that happens, mm -hmm. and you say no. You get these RSVPs. You have your set list. Mm -hmm. It is time for the day. You have your list. You get there and there are additional people there. So this has happened to me before. Oh, what it, do you do? So, so what I like to do is I like to sit down with the bride and grooms and ask, mm -hmm. is it okay if we tell them no? If you tell me, yes, Brian, tell them no, we're gonna tell them no. However, come a pause, mm -hmm. I always say have a little extra because it may be someone that you really want to share this moment with you. So after everyone is seated who actually follow directions and are repeat on time, mm -hmm. if there's a seat left, we would give them that seat. If not, I have actually told people, thank you, but no. <gasps> really? Absolutely. Okay, okay. Absolutely. Okay, well, how involved should the groom be? You know, I love this. I, I, I love this because grooms are not involved. They come to maybe the tasting. Mine is involved. I need Vaughn to tell people yes. that it's okay. Hi, Vaughn. It, <laughs> yes. It's okay. I, I, I see them at tastings, I see them at cake tastings, and mm -hmm. I see them on the day of the wedding, and they just 
have no clue on what's going on. So involved them. Remember, it's it's one day, but you're with this man for the rest of your life. So involve them. If, if their favorite thing is food, let them pick out the food. If their favorite thing is music, let them pick out the music. Aww. And continue to do the date nights and things like that. Continue the love that got you to where you are. Okay. Involve them. Yes. All right, speaking of involving, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Yes. And let's talk about social media. Oh, God. Is it cool to ban phones and do the whole Ziploc thing? It is. Yes, so it that's is. not a faux pas? It is, it, you know, here's the thing. This is your special day. You yes. don't want fuzzy pictures. You don't want pictures of you looking sweaty because you was on the dance floor dancing. It's okay to tell people, Ziploc your phone before you come into my wedding. And if you're not comfortable with doing that, it's okay. Just make sure that they are approving those pictures before they post them. You might have a hashtag, you know what I'm saying? So it's just best to be respectful as a guest to ask the bride and groom, can I take these pictures and can I post them before you do? But if you want to ban mm -hmm. phones, it's never okay to post ban phones. No, that's never okay. <laughs> never, ever, ever okay. I agree. Well, what advice, what last minute advice can you give to me? Right. The last minute advice that I can give you, Tree, is to be a bride, mm -hmm. enjoy your moment, mm -hmm. don't let anyone stress you out, mm -mm -mm. learn the art of no, because oh. no is not going to hurt or kill anyone, including you. So just enjoy your day. Be a bride. Be a bride. You only get married once. I don't care if it was two, three, oh five God. thousand times. It Third doesn't time's matter. Third time's a charm over here. But Third time's every charm. time is the first time in my eyes. Oh, so that's so sweet. Oh. Enjoy your day and say no. Say or tell no. them to call me. I can say no. Say no. no. <laughs> All right, Brian. All right, well, Brian Key, thank you so much for sharing these amazing and useful tips with us today. And for all of your event and wedding planning needs, be sure to go to BrianKeithProductions.com.